I met a gypsy. So one thing also while we're on the suggestions for 2022 Supercross, uh, talked about it with Colt Nichols. He's on board. Walkouts. I know you're feeling Are we, that. we talking about the walk-in fit, dude? Yep. Yeah, dude. I'm in. I got to make some money though, bro. Like I, I got to boost the closet back up. You know what I mean? It's been a minute. So. Yeah. If I get a ride, I got to get a ride, dude. I don't have a job yet for next year. So if I get a ride for next year, then I'm in. I'm in either way. You know what I mean? I I you know we swagging out regardless so me and colt will do it so but who the problem is, is our our photog man frace ain't ain't been coming to the races with me so uh, i'll hey gotta i will take the picks. i will put up the money whatever it costs to get a photographer to get those pit those pictures taken i will put up the money i'll also put up the money for a backdrop i'll put on feld's fucking logo like i'll talk to prater i could i'll do it in the parking lot whatever like where you enter to get into the fucking track i'll put up the money Amazing. i'll take care of it who else you you're in colt's in jet will be in hunter will be in there's mm. a let's be hey jalik mm. that motherfucker's fly he'll be in the young dino the younger can wear kids, a kilt dino can wear kids. a kilt dino he'll give it his best effort with a lot of the younger kids are a lot more open to like just doing cool stuff so a lot of the 250 kids, you know, they they'd be into it. So, a couple of us, a couple of us old heads, you know what I mean? Still, yeah. still getting the game, but I don't know, man. It's just what we do, anyways, man. Like me, Cole, Brad, we just design stuff and make stuff all the time, anyway. So, it's just kind of like part of what we do on a daily basis. So, nah, I'm feeling it, and uh, AP as well. I forgot about AP. That motherfucker would rock a mean cowboy hat. Could you imagine him I walking wouldn't call in? what AP does is, is fly or swag now, but I would say that AP will be entertaining for sure. Hey, there's a bunch of red states that disagree with that statement. Amen, brother. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm, I'm all about it. Because I think that, you know, so like perfect example, dude. So one of my coaches in jiu-jitsu is he's my age, black belt, flies never watched a game of NBA in his life never watched a game of NFL in his life if you go to his house right now turn on his YouTube it's just straight NBA walkouts it's like the best dressed in the NFL like there's a there's a vibe that that shit creates man and I feel like that shit lifts up the sport and you're a good looking motherfucker Colt is a good looking motherfucker if I'm a if I'm a brand I am not mad at doing some kind of partnership with uh with justin bogle or colt nichols and it's like let's fuck off the team shirts and the monster hats for like five minutes and if you're a monster dude like if you're ap then you go to monster you go hey a1's coming up we're doing this walk we're doing this walk out deal i need some i need like a f- in like a iced out monster chain or i need like a iced out monster belt you know that's this is the sh- where it's like let's get creative that shit's dope for monster like you think monster doesn't want to run uh ap with like a dope photo with his cowboy hat and like a and an iced out monster chain and and i mean then there's probably people in the comment section and have out it boys where they're like oh what's this shit it's not about winning it's like okay I, I get it i get it i get it we got a 20 minute main event we're at the fucking track for 14 hours can for five of these minutes be fucking fun five can we just have five minutes where we get to like look cool flex a bit on the gram give myself a bit of a vibe stoke out the fans like do we really have to be like all winning all the time i'm there for 14 hours i think for it's important too for that stuff like people that are fans of me like they're they love that shit dude like they're cool with it because they're like us but if you're i mean you know don't be something you're not like we're just being us but I think if people don't like it, then I mean, <laughs> whatever, bro. Like, I'm not that worried about it. Like, my life rolls on, and so does theirs, and it's all good. Um, if they want to hate on the clothes or the shoes or the pants or whatever, if my pants are too tight, then hey, man, you ain't gotta wear them. So, you know, I don't know. I'm just I ain't the type that's gonna comment on some stuff that I don't like. So, <laughs> it doesn't really affect me because. I feel like if you're doing that, you're probably just unhappy. And if you're unhappy, then honestly, I feel you. So, you know, yeah. life's tough, man. You got to 
find a way to get that energy out. Maybe we need, we all need a hobby. You know what I mean? Every human being needs three things. One to make money, one to keep you in shape, one to keep your mind right, you know? So everybody needs that. Hey, if you don't have that sometimes, you know, you can take that anger out on people that don't deserve it. So. Yeah, preach. So 2022, Sufi season, <laughs> we come and correct. I'll put up the, the yeah, cash. Mate. I'll make sure there's a photographer. I'll make sure there's a videographer. And we'll get this sh done. You guys post those photos. And I, I feel like it's one of those things where if it's like something that we all commit to for, and again, even if it's in the parking lot, this sh doesn't have to be official. This doesn't have to be sanctioned. We can do it in the f***ing parking lot on the way in. But like this, I feel like it can gain it's actually some more, momentum. It's more fire if it's not sanctioned. You know what I mean? Like it's, it's more fire if it's more like bootleg. Like the way we were doing it, bro, like every round in 2019 we did it. Yeah. It was literally just me, me, Colt, and Frace showed up to the races together. And we and Brad would walk in first, stand there, take our photos as we walk by, acting like we didn't see him. It's like, we don't care. Everyone's looking at us like we're idiots. And we're like, it doesn't matter. Like, I'm, I'm not worried about that. You know what I mean? I think it's dope. Like, we thought of that idea like the Thursday before A1. And me and Colt were talking about it at the house. And Brad's sitting there. We're like, yo, we should do this. This would actually be pretty dope if we like... I don't know, it'd be like, because who do we look up to? You know what I mean? Like my favorite yeah. NBA player is Russell Westbrook. Like obviously because Oklahoma City Thunder for a decade, but at the same time, he's also the coolest with like the illest attitude. So, you know, that kind of stuff is dope to me. And so we were like, all right, let's just give it a shot. See what happens. Who cares? People are going to hate on it. Don't matter. But that's like, it's what you sort of said at the start though, you know, like that's the shit that, that's a vibe for you. And, and that's the stuff that, can start to generate that momentum for yourself on a day and it's like look good feel good like there's all because essentially it's like if that's what you're feeling right if you're feeling that shit and you you're like man this this is dope for me to go and do that so for you to have that feeling and then not do it you've actively had to suppress something that shit takes energy that shit kills on your soul slowly Amen. over time yep. for sure and like you just said dude literally like the way I function like I was talking earlier excitement you know that kind of thing that gets me excited new stuff like all of that like gets me more in the zone so when I get dressed in the morning on race day like at a supercross and I'm feeling like I'm looking good and I'm excited about something I just picked up or you know whatever I got a new pair of shoes or I finally got these that I've been trying to get for however long mm. you know I'm all amped up I'm excited and you got that a little extra boost in the morning. It's like, I don't even need the fourth shot of espresso. You know what I'm saying? Maybe only three today because I'm feeling good already, baby. Let's go. So when it's like that, I mean, I don't know, dude, like shit makes me happy. And if it makes you happy, as long as you ain't hurt nobody else, why not? If you enjoyed this content, please like and subscribe. And to listen to the full three-hour podcast, search Gypsy Tales in your favorite podcast platform or click the link in the description below. Gypsy Gang.